Yo, what be the flip YouTube? It's your boy Zach, and I'm back with Zach React. And today we got Make Any Card Jump Out of the Deck. This is by Jay the Magician. This one is a little older, about eight months ago, I would say. Um, I want to get more into reacting to Magic and Josh and Derek and maybe some other people. Um, I just want to get into it more often. So, yeah, that's what we have today. I'll show you here. Uh, just because I'm supposed to show you when I say it, but I totally forgot. So before we begin this video, please don't forget it. The original link will be left in the description down below, so you guys can go check it out for yourselves and like it up. Speaking of liking it up, there's a like button, a subscribe button, and a notification bell at the bottom of this video. You guys can click them if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. But if you do decide to click them, just remember, we keep it real here. So if you fake, if you alien, get the fuck out. I don't want to see you liking, I don't want to see you subscribing, and I don't want to hear the bell ring from your fucking hater. Alright? You get it? Get it? Got it? Good? Cool, so go down below into the description box and click on the Magic Channel page, and it'll bring you to my YouTube channel, my uh, my Kodrick channel. If you guys can get that to 300 subscribers, I'll do a 24-hour live stream where I stay up 24 hours straight, just doing live reaction requests the whole, the whole 24 hours straight or whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually preparing for it. That's why I might seem a little tired right now, because uh, I'm trying to prepare by keeping myself up, um, at least while I'm not in my job yet. But... If I seem a little less active, that's why I'm also wearing the same shirt from yesterday's videos. But uh, that's that's besides the point. So I'm excited to get into this. Josh, great guy, great magician, and uh, I try to catch all of his new videos whenever I can. Um, I need to get used to his his fucking uh magic schedule. Uh, but yeah, let's go right into this. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know, you know we gotta do that one more time. Like the hell cut. Hi Josh. Everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before this video, hi Josh. It starts off. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'm sorry, I forget. I forget. I'm sorry, I forget. Hold up, hold up. Like, subscribe's already clicked. Uh, I know this is an older video, but say what's dripping. To the Zach Reacts gang. Hashtag always strong. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. Man, your hair grew. Oh, this was a while ago. But yeah. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool trick how to make a card shoot out of the middle of a deck. So uh, I think I like this version better because the way I do it is pretty easy. The way most people do it is actually kind of difficult. And sometimes if you if you have two small of hands, it's kind of hard to do. And you have in your hands in just a, a difficult position. This way is super simple, it's super easy. And uh, with practice, you'll definitely get it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and just get straight into this. So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and take your deck of cards and go ahead and just give them a quick shuffle. It's completely impromptu, so a spectator could totally do this beforehand. So what's the cards? Yes. Yeah, that's what impromptu means. They're shuffled. What you're going to do is just have the spectator select a card and just control this card to the top any way you want to. So in this case, they've chosen the nine of spades. Just control this card any way you want. I use just pretty much my favorite move to control a card. I did a pinky pull down on the bottom card. Transfer that to a thumb break, just like that. I swing cut over half the cards to my other hand. And then I use this to push up. And then I got this card on the bottom here. I'm holding a break above. Flush with that pack. And then I did a wrist kill so they didn't see I dropped this card on top push this in so now uh their card is second from the top i then did a one-handed fan with this 
and then I push this in somewhere and then just drop the one-handed fan into the middle of this pack. So, like, the card has been lost somewhere in the middle just like that, but in reality, the card is still on top. Just do anything you can to control this card to the top. Now we're going to do the part where you catch, basically make the card jump out and catch it. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn how to do that. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the card, pretty much hold it in middle grip. But what I like to do is not with two fingers, but your middle finger and your ring finger are going to be at the very end. Notice my ring finger is kind of hanging off most of the way. My ring finger is actually barely contacting the deck. Okay, my pinky is just hanging off over here to the side, and my middle finger is right here, pretty much at the very edge of the deck. You want your fingers pretty much at the very edge of the deck. In fact, if you look really closely, my ring finger is actually not even uh, th at the top of the deck. It's more of just at the very corner. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you don't want... The specific fingers that you want in specific places, if that makes any sense. So now you're going to take your finger, okay, and you're going to push down on this card just like this. So you can either, A, take your finger and push down, but what I like to do is I just like to take my fingernail and push down on this card. So take my fingernail and be able to grab at the top of that card and basically pull down on it just like this. So you want to build pressure with the card. Now, once you get it down about to the top of this little, as you can see, this little stripe going across the top of the card here, you kind of want your the card to about that point. You want to start dragging your finger down, okay? So, whereas your finger was um, just at the top of the deck, now it's going to come down the card, just like... Let me see if I can do it my way. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this whole thing he has going here. I'm trying it his way, and it's just, it's a little, it's a little difficult for me. I just, uh, that sucked. This is how I do it. Now, my fingers are, they'll be big enough for a deck, but I like to do it with half. Like this, just about half, and I put my fingers sideways, and I like to use my middle finger strength and my thumb strength to sort of bend the deck in like this. And then as I'm bending it, that's when I pull it down. And I bring it to where this corner here as you can see on the card that I'm pushing down, this corner goes, like, sticks out from the side of the deck. You see that? See what I'm doing there? So once that's that, then you just let go, and you're able to catch it. And it's just a, a cool way of uh, making sure you get what you got to do here. I, I haven't practiced this in a while, uh, because I perfected it back when I first started Magic. I used to perfect this a lot. I used to be able to, hold up, hold up. I used to. Damn it. Damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, bro. Okay, I have the other half here, too, that I can work with. So that's that. I'll get it eventually. Motherfucker, why do you keep doing that? I was that close. Got it, see that? I knew I'd get it eventually. But, uh, I don't know why that took me forever. Now I have cards everywhere. Like a, like a fucking magician. Now I look like a fucking card magician. But, uh, yeah. So there's, just, there's different ways of doing it for different people. Um, I Josh's way is a little difficult for me just because, obviously, I've had practice in different forms of it. So, yeah. I also think it's cool because my way, my way. Now, I'm sorry, I'm going to get back to the video eventually. This is taking away from it, but if you do my way and you would take the cards and like cut them into half and you would have fan out this pack, so like let's say for example you had a pack here that you were gonna fan out into like that, what you could do is with the other half of the deck, if I can get this going here, with the other half of the deck you could do the card spring and have it fly into the fan somehow. If I can Sort of, but it, it, I, I give up. I give up. I'm going to take time away from the video. Sorry, Josh. I uh, I got into my whole magic tutorial bag. 
uh, that I love. So I, I, I got to get back into fucking magic videos. I do magic all the time outside of all this stuff. But anyway. Like that. And you're going to basically keep coming down as you're building up pressure. Notice the card is building pressure now. Okay. And you're going to keep bringing your finger down till it's going to come to the end. And then it's just going to release pressure. It's going to come. It was applying pressure, and then it was it, it came. I dropped the card. Hold on. Okay, so again, you're going to come down, build pressure. It's going to come down, and then the card's going to shoot out kind of in that circular motion just like that. So that will take some practice. Just practice being able to just like that, okay? And then you'll eventually get that down. So let's go over that one more time before we move on to the next step of this. But you're Some, Something I forgot mention practice with only about half the cards when first doing this then as you get better use the whole deck you're just going to push down and then your finger's going to come down building pressure and then the reason it's coming down this way is that you notice it's coming down excuse me on the sides because now it's going to go up and spin into this direction i dropped the card again okay so now that you guys pretty much got this down again you're never going to have it right the first try it's going to take practice okay then whenever you get that point, now we're going to just make try and show you how to make it go higher. So if you don't want, if you do it normally, it'll go about like that. But if you want the card to really fly, what you want to do is whenever you, whenever you let go, you're going to go up with the deck. And then that card is really going to go up high. Okay. So again, you're just going to practice a little bit. I'll let the card get back. You're going to use the momentum. I see what he's saying. You're going to push the card down and use the momentum. You don't want to like fling your hand all the way up there and, you know, you could drop all the cards that way, but you kind of just want to, like, 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 two inches. You know, just kind of hop it. Oh, there we go. All right, camera's back in focus. So, again, what you're going to do is control any card to the top. So, they're going to just select a card, and you're going to control it to the top using your favorite method. Now, you're going to take the finger, hold it pretty much with your middle finger. I know I said with your ring finger, but honestly, your middle finger is mostly holding it because you want them as close to the edge as possible. So really, you're only holding it with your middle finger and thumb. But if you have small, I have pretty big fingers. So if you have smaller hands, um, you might want to use your ring and middle finger. It all depends on what you're more comfortable doing. But for me, since I have these pretty, uh, I have pretty big hands, so I need to just hold it with my middle finger. and. I have decent sized hands too. Um, it just depends. Um, sometimes I like to ensure security when I'm doing stuff like this. And so since I want to ensure security, I like to use two fingers, uh, keep my ring at the very edge, and then my middle at the edge, but closer in. God, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's an interesting way of learning how to fling a card. It's not my way, but it's an interesting way thumb so you're just going to go down pull down on the card and then your finger is going to get to like right here and then it's just simply going to let go and you're going to go up and the card flew that way somewhere but again once you've controlled the card you're just simply going to just push down on it building pressure and that's essentially all you're doing i think looking at it you'll probably you magicians probably figured out exactly what how i did it but again you're just going to push down go up with the card a little bit and then obviously to catch it i mean i'm not going to teach you guys that um if you've ever played sports before you should know how to catch something just you should know how to catch something that's that's facts there's no need to teach you none of that you know all i can really say is keep your eye on the card because you're not going to know where it goes um just keep your eye on the card and you will catch it because honestly i don't catch it every time i don't think anyone ever will but uh, i try to uh, it's definitely super fun i either try to catch it with my hand or like i said with a fan that i make or with my mouth like i did i have to do more mouth practice that, that's under four, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> to do, if anyone ever asks me to do a trick, it's really simple. I just have them choose a card. It does not matter which card it is. Control it to the top using whatever method I prefer, and then just simply make the card jump out the deck. Not only is it simple once it's learnt and you get it down, it's once it's learnt. Did you just say once it's learnt? quick it's simple and it's really really cool i mean the, the 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 fact is that they think it's in the middle if they knew it was at the top they'd probably know how you did it but the fact that they think it's in the middle it just brings this whole impossibility effect to the trick that i think the spectators really do enjoy and i mm -hmm. and I, I i love doing this move i love shooting a card out of the deck it's something i always wanted to do so yeah guys that is pretty much the trick i hope you guys enjoyed it again just one more quick overview you're simply going to control cards at the top 
push down, build pressure, and it will jump out just like that. And just practice. All it takes is practice. This took me a long time to master, okay? I could do it sometimes, and sometimes I couldn't do it. This definitely does take a long time to master where you know. That is that is facts because that one that I – my version of it that I learned, um, I didn't learn it by nobody. I didn't go online and do it. I kind of just – watched the performance, slowed it down, and checked and saw if my fingers could do what his fingers could do. And uh, I've been doing magic for 13 years, and as you saw, I'm still not the best at it. But that was one of the first things I learned. So Every single time, you're going to make it jump, okay? Definitely going to take some practice, but in the end, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, we're trying to hit 100 subscribers before 2021, so please do hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video. Help me reach 100 subscribers. And with that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. That's all he wanted was 100 subs before 2021, and let's see how many he got. Oh, look, now he's at 305. Look at that. <laughs> Anyway, but that is uh, Jay the Magician with his nice little flingy thingy that he did. But if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. And I'll see you on the next reaction video. Always strong.